on that boss if you put it in the corner. Uh, if it's got Defiance decks already, because you won't send it flying across the room. Which is kind of an interesting benefit there. Teams are off. There they go. Most likely the teams are going to stack Swiftness. Uh, looks like they're doing it with Ellie for Snow Crows. And they're doing it as well for Cryos. This looks like Cryos is through the portal. And Snow Crows is now as well. So it looks like they're going to come up to the turrets here. They gotta wait until after the cutscene triggers to be able to damage the turrets. And we'll probably see the Mesmer run ahead with stealth for Cryos, and we'll probably see the typical Shadow Refuge uh, from the Thief for everyone to stealth at the same time. Although it looks like Cryos is just all running ahead together. Snow Crows used a quick blinding powder to stealth for that first trash mobs. Abe showing off the Dragon's Tooth about a target might stacking method. That is one of the locations where you should look up to stack might using Dragon's Tooth or Comet. Sign of an experienced Ellie there. Looks like Cryos is bringing the boss to the wall, and it looks like Snowcrow's fighting him in the open. Snowcrow's had a very good burn there, and they killed him quite a bit faster. So it looks like. I believe Snowcrow's, at least on my uh, screen, would probably be a little bit ahead with the they delay. Are. They also don't have the back aggro from mobs since they cleaved everything down from fighting that's, that golem in the middle. That's another benefit as well. So it looks like both teams are now making their way up the hallway with the barriers and these barrier turrets. They have a force field in the middle that you can't pass through and as the hallway progresses along the turrets get farther apart from each other so it becomes a bit harder to cleave them down at the same time. This but is one of like, the uh, fastest dungeon paths in the game. You do wonder how fast it would be if it wasn't for those little time gates. Absolutely. Literally. Snowcrow stacking might right on top of Nock, and we'll be DPSing her down very quickly. They're building up a pretty substantial lead here on Cryos. They've killed Nock, and they are moving on to the Golem hallway. I imagine they're going to stack stealth and run through. Cryos' DPS on Nox seems oh, pretty Oh, Cryos low. is having serious problems. They've taken some significant hits from the Singularities. It put a lot of confusion stacks on them, and they're having trouble killing Nock. Nock will be going down, though, and they will be moving on thanks to the rally. They do have back aggro from the trash mobs that might prevent them from stealthing the way they would like to. Looks like the Mesmer used uh, a... Mass and Viz. Mass and Viz. The team's going to be sitting there taking damage while waiting for him to get across. While I say that, Snowcrows is killing the killing the champion golems in the middle, and they are moving on to Taza. Cryos has to make up some time on Taza, most likely, if they're going to have a chance to win this one. Yeah, we'll see how Snowcrows is able to pull Taza. If she cooperates, I imagine they'll probably take this game, because it looks like Cryos has just killed the golems. Snowcrow is fighting Taza in her homeroom there. Commander Ki wonder... as well. Looks like Snowcrow's taking a page out of uh, the Cool Kids Club book and just fighting YOLO style in this room. It's a risky strat. It's a very risky strat. Commander Ki puts out some serious DPS. And it looks like Cryos is going to do the same thing. They uh, definitely think that pulling her out of the room costs a lot of time. Snowcrow's has the boss down to about 25% and the burn is on. And it looks like they're, being, they're handling the DPS very well that, that the commander's putting out. The condition removal is starting to become overwhelmed, though, and they're losing. They have two people down, but they're rallying off the trash mobs enough, and Ka Taza is down, and Snowcrows has taken path one and game one of this matchup. 